Hello everyone and welcome back to NASCAR Heat Evolution Season Mode. Last time uh, we finished third and Ryan Newman won the race and clinched a uh, lock into the next race. But here we are for Talladega. I'll see you um, at the start. Alright, well, here we are getting ready to take the green flag. We just need a solid result today and we'll be perfectly fine going into Kansas. And uh, when we go to Kansas, if we're in a situation where we need to win, I truly believe that we can win at that track. That's a track I like. We didn't have the best finish there earlier this season, but I still feel like we could be a possible factor at that racetrack if needed. Still there. I'm gonna go to the inside of Joey Gase here, trying to get our first position. Three by three in front of us. Stay low. Still there. I want to get uh, towards the front of the pack as fast as I possibly can here. Stay low. And kind of just stay up there always. I believe we will have to make one pit stop. Four wide with Ryan Reed and David Reagan and whoever the heck else is out there. Might have been Matt Benedetto. We're here behind Chase Elliott, a fellow playoff competitor with us right now. So two by two from the front towards the back here. Still there. Everyone will probably start to spread out within the next five laps. I would assume just uh, the patterns that I've noticed at plate tracks in the past in this game. Still there. Inside of Harrison Burton. Still there. Got three wide between Casey Kane, Ricky Stenhouse, and now Ben Kennedy right in front of us here. That's going to leave us with really nowhere to go. All clear, all clear. Still there. Just going to wait for them to settle down here before we make a move. Now we can make a move to the inside of the 96 and uh, the 43. Gonna settle in behind Landon Cast. We might make a three wide here. Try to get the pull off of our teammate Jamie McMurray. Stay low. Still there. Down the front straight away, we'll be coming to the end of lap four here.
All right, here we are coming to lap 10 now. We have settled in the second position. We're going to duck out and try to take the lead from AJ Allmendinger in the 47 car. We have to run him up the track a bit and then dive to the bottom trying to get uh, the ground gained on him. We need some help from Harvick here. Still there. This is similar to Daytona where we would get to second and then it'd just be incredibly hard to pass the leader. We had the same situation with I believe it was Stenhouse in the Daytona night race earlier in the season. We got the edge on the 47 right now. We can just clear him out of turn four. We will not. He's going to hang on our right rear. Still there. On the apron a bit. Whoops. 10 laps completed. 37 remaining. Stay low. Still there. You're all clear. We are clear of the 47 car. We are clear for the lead. Now we just kind of have to pull a Dale Jr. and just keep both lanes behind us here. Harvick with the pull. Almendinger is losing a bit of ground, but he's coming back outside of turn four. Going to block him, then we're going to come back to the inside in front of the four car. We're in command right now as it stands. Coming to the end of lap 13 now. Four cars move to the outside line. Kyle Busch on the inside right behind us with some help. That four car is getting a pole again. They got to go up in his lane, and then they're going to drop back down to the inside. Kind of a repetitive process as a leader here. Just got to keep both lanes behind you. Eighteen is close to clearing that four car, but the four car looks like he's gonna get that pole again on the outside. Side by side with Kevin Harvick here now on lap eighteen. Still there. He's trying to clear us, but we're gonna get that inside pole. At 18 is leaving us, he's going to go with the 4 he's going to come back to the inside with us. Who's going to lead the lap? Still there. Yeah, I think it was us. Stay low. Still there. Stay low. Still, there. Still side by side with that 4 car. We need some help. If that four car clears us, we're going to be stuck behind him. Three cars there behind the four car a bit. Just about even with the 18. Hanging on that left rear of Kevin Harvick. Just hanging on for dear life. Hope he doesn't clear us here. Alright, lap 23. The four car has cleared us. We've got the 18 looking to the outside on our right rear. Clint Boyer is going to get to the inside of Kyle Busch. Caution is out. That's big right there. Okay, we're gonna pit. Um, I think we'll just take half a can of fuel, really, and uh, no tires or no repairs. So we'll see you at the green. All right, here we go. We gained a position on pit road, so we will be starting in the first position for this restart. Green flag's out. 21 laps remaining here in Talladega. The second race of the second round in the playoffs. Still there. Clear high. At 18 and the four both getting a big run. If we can just stay right where we are, we should be able to hold them back. We're going to have to choose one lane and whatever lane we go with is going to be slower, I think. 
Now we got the 31 making a three wide down there with a big run. We might have to go down there. Leave that 18 car in the middle. The four car of Kevin Harvick clears us with ease. We got Clint Boyer also trying to do the same. Still there. Is that Bubba Wallace there on the outside of Kyle Busch? Dive to that inside of the 14 and hope we get the pole on the 4. We will. Can we clear the 14 car? I think the 4 is going to move up. He is. Oh no. Alright, we've got 20 to go, or sorry, 10 to go, and we, there's, as you can tell, still have not passed the 4 car, but we're going to look to the inside, as we've done previously, and it has not worked, but we're going to try our best, and follow him up to the outside, oh, we're in the wall, that's going to, that's probably going to end our chances at uh, getting that lead now, he's going to be able to hold us off, unfortunately. That is unfortunate. Now we got the uh, 31 trying to get to our outside. We got slight damage on the right side of the car. I think that 31 might clear us here. Still there. Yeah, he will. We're going to settle in third here. Uh, the top three right now are all the top three finishers uh, from Charlotte, except Newman uh, won, Harvick finished second, and we finished third. Still there. Still there. Try and get to that inside of the 31, it's not going to happen. I think we're in a situation again where the AI is going to pit even though they have enough fuel so if they do pit we will pit along with them just to keep it legit. Still there. Struggling to get by that 31. Gonna get the pole down the back straight away. We'll look to the inside. Will we complete the pass? Probably not. Run him up the track, but then dive back to the inside line. He's still going to be able to pull away and clear us. Got seven laps to go now. Yeah, right to that bumper of the 31. If we maybe if we help him, 
we'll be able to actually g close that gap on the fourth car. I doubt that will work as bump drafting is not really a thing in this game. But I mean, it's worth a shot. We now have six laps to go in Talladega. Can we get to the four car? Probably not. Unless he runs into some trouble. Hit that pole on 31. That four car is running a very inside line to where I think he might be pitting this time by. We're about to find out here. If he stays right on that yellow line out of turn 4, he's probably going to be making a pit stop. Like that. There he goes. Okay, the four cars pitting. So the AI are indeed pitting. So we're probably going to pit within the next lap or two to keep it legit with the AI. Five to go in Talladega. We're going to look to that inside on the 31. We well, have enough fuel to get to the end. That's why I don't understand why the AI pits. Did not get through turn two very well. We're gonna lose a bit of time to that 31. We gotta use that draft to pull back in on him. Looks like the 31 might be pitting right here. Yes, he is. Got the 14 staying out with us. I think we'll pit next time by. <laughs> 14 is closed right up on us now. The cars behind us are also closing uh, quite quickly. Yeah, the way they're hugging that yellow line, you know they're going to be pitting right here. Alright, let's get ready. I think we slowed down too late. Oh my, that's not the direction I want to go. Dead. Well, oh my. Yellow, oh. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow's out. Yellow's out. Ugh. <sighs> That's what I get for being courteous to the AI. We'll see you at the green. This is going to hurt us now. We have damage. Oh, man. I don't know what we're going to do. I think we need to stay out. So, we have damage. But, if we pit, we're going to be in the back. We'll be restarting 14th here with two laps to go. Hopefully, the damage doesn't affect us too much. Alright, two to go here in Talladega damage doesn't seem to be hurting us at the moment oh contact oh no oh yeah that damage is definitely slowing us up big time this might be a major hit oh yeah look at that damage this might be a major hit in the points right here gotta get to that inside coming down coming down four wide behind us even in that draft, we aren't getting anywhere. Looks like the maximum speed right now we can go is 197. That's like 3 to 5 miles an hour slower than uh, what the AI are doing in front of us. Look at everyone just powering by us. Alright, white flag in the air. Let's just hope for the best here. 24th. If we can finish in 24th, I mean, we can still squeak by in a decent points position. We're going to probably have to block like crazy. 96 on the outside. Looks like Danica right on our inside behind us. going to block that 96 now. Drop down to the inside and block the 10. Back to the outside. And then we'll go back to the inside into turn 3 for one final time. The 88 splitting the middle. I'm not going to block him. There's no point. He's already got the run. He's already on our outside passing us. As long 
the 20 car is going to come along with him. We're going to hold him off. The 96 is going to, is going to pass us. They're, They're slowing up in front of us. No, no, no. Well, and over we go. Dead. Are you kidding me? We're going to finish 40th. Alright, so here's a replay of what in the world just went down. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it looks like the 23 slowed up and I tried to go to the outside and obviously I died doing it. That's terrible. Oh. Let's see the finishing order. Dead last. Unbelievable. McMurray wins with his first win of the year. Ryan Reed in second. Uh, well, this is going to be a major hit to the playoffs. Though, let's see where we are. Elliot in big trouble as well. We're seven points out. Oh, no. That is not good. Logano, eight out. Kane, 12 out. Elliot, 24 out. To be honest, seven points is going to be very hard to make up on Matt Kenseth. So, the way I look at it, we're in a must-win situation going into Kansas. Obviously not the way we needed things to go today. We were doing so well. We ran in the top two for a good portion of this race. So Kansas is a track I feel like we can have a chance to win at. I hope. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. See you next time at Kansas.